Welcome to motherfucking Detroit, goddammit, what shit? In crime, a young woman's life is cut short, and tonight police say an even younger life, a 12-year-old boy, is to blame for her murder. Hard to believe the accused gunman, not even a teenager, and he could be locked up for life if convicted. Mm, we have new information from both the police and from the victim's family. She was from Davison, that's near Flint, but the crime happened on Detroit's west side, and that's where we find local force Bora Kim. Bora, will this 12-year-old be charged as an adult? Steve, by law, you have to be 14 years old to be charged as an adult. But today, um, and as you said, he's only 12 years old. But today, he was designated as an adult, which means he could be sentenced as an adult. And today, the chief of police telling us that he can't remember uh, someone so young being in so much trouble. Clearly, we think the motive uh, was robbery. It was along Minock and Outer Drive here at the Rosedale Park neighborhood. Shots rang out August 1st around midnight. Arrested for the crime, DeMarco Harris of Detroit, who was just one month shy of turning 13 years old. We were able to identify him through uh, forensic evidence that I can't talk anymore about right now. The gun is still missing and an accomplice is in custody. Police, however, say it was Harris who fired the shot that killed 24-year-old Trisha Babcock of Davison. She was sitting in the car with a male friend when shot in the chest. Her father tells us Babcock worked at a pharmacy and was studying to be a nurse. She had her whole life ahead of her. And, you know, I was, she never had a chance to meet her soulmate. She never had a chance to I never had a chance to hold a grandbaby. You know, we've lost so many things. Harris faces murder, armed robbery, to even breaking his curfew. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office has designated Harris as an adult. He could very well be Detroit's youngest with such a designation, which ultimately means Harris could spend the rest of his life in prison. Uh, so he's going to be tried in the juvenile court. He's not going to be tried in an adult court, um, but he could be sentenced uh, as an adult where he could be sentenced as a juvenile or the court could blend the two. I don't want him to be free. I want him to spend the rest of his time on this earth incarcerated. Uh, he's lucky, I feel, that they don't have the death penalty. And we are also finding out that Harris is no stranger to the juvenile courts. Uh, last August, there was a petition of incorrigibility filed against him. We're finding out that although it was his father who uh, turned uh, Harris into police on Friday, he likely lives with his grandmother. In any case, Harris has really never been charged with a criminal offense, of course. That's up until now. That is the latest here on Detroit's west side. Borkim, Local 4. Uh